This video will demonstrate how to install and configure an unleashed network in the gateway mode, where it will act as a gateway for both wired and wireless devices. We're going to be using the Unleashed 200.5 version release of this mobile app. This version has eliminated the initial creation master setup process in earlier versions, so it saves time on the configuration setup. I think you'll see how easy it is to install Unleashed without any prior knowledge. As a note, I'm recording this on an Android device, and in the upper left-hand corner, you'll see a green arrow. That is actually not part of the app. That's the software that I'm using to record on my Android. So we're going to do the gateway install, and I'm going to tap on that, and it brings up a menu, and it says turn on your AP and wait for a few minutes. Set your mobile Wi-Fi to configure.me with the last six hex digits of your AP mode. So I'm going to make sure I'm connected to that Wi-Fi network. So I'll bring up my settings menu and I'll connect to configure.me. And now we're connected and it says that the internet may not be available. And that's because we're on a special setup wireless LAN. So I'll go back to my app and it says, great, you are connected to the Unleashed Factory Wi-Fi. Let's start and set up your network. So I'll hit start. So this brings me to a four-step configuration process. The first menu is the master IP assignment. By default, it's automatic. And it says by default, the master AP's IP assignment is automatic. To change it to manual or static, you could click on edit. So if I press edit, it'll bring up this menu. And I could click on static and set my own IP parameters. I'm not going to do that, so I'll go back. The next part of this is the WAN port. Now, if I hit the question mark, this will bring up a little description. So it says the LAN 1 and LAN 2 represent port 1 and port 2. You may choose either one as the WAN port base on the cable connection. So for every AP there is a diagram of its port. In this example we show a power connector on the left. That's for my DC power connector if I connect it. And then we have LAN 2 and LAN 1. And these will represent port 1 and port 2. And it says you may choose either one as the WAN port based on the cable connections. And I would suggest connecting the LAN connection to the PoE port and the non-PoE connector to the WAN facing side. So I'll cancel this screen. And you can see here that I can select port 1 or port 2. So I'll take the default setting. Next we have mesh option. I would like to enable mesh. So I'll turn that on. And then we would press next. This is my LAN IP settings. So by default, the LAN setting is a class B IP address of 10.10.0.1, and it has a class B subnet mask. And then you see the DHCP server settings. So it says client starting IP addresses at 10.10.0.10 .10 and the number of IP clients. So if you want to change this pool to something else, you'll change your number of clients. So I could change this, for example, to 500 clients. And I might do that because I expect to have at least two or three access points. And each access point can handle up to 512 clients except for the master one. So if I have two or three access points, I might want to make sure that I have plenty of IP addresses that I can give to clients as they log on. So we'll go ahead and hit next. This brings me to the wireless LAN setup. So here I would put my wireless LAN name. And by default, it's Ruckus Unleashed. And I'm going to type in Awani Studio. And then I'm going to give it a wireless LAN password. And because this is a demo, I'll put in something simple. And if I want to double check the password is what I think it is, I can press the eyeball at the right. So you'll see that I put in a very sophisticated password. Next is the country where the AP is located. By default, it's US. So I'll go ahead and take the default settings and press next. And this brings me to my step four, which is the administration setup. So this is the admin username and password that I'm going to use to log on to the Unleashed dashboard. So I'll add an admin username and I'll put the word admin. And then I'll put in a password. And just to verify that the password is what I think I type, I'll press the eyeball. So it is that very sophisticated password. And as it says, the admin username and password will be used to manage Unleashed after the setup. So now I press Next. And this brings me to a setup review. So this shows me what my wireless LAN SSID name is. And you notice that there's a lock next to the Wi-Fi symbol, meaning that it has a password. 
So ours is called Awani Studio, and I can double check that password by pressing on the eyeball. And then to manage your network, log in to the dashboard, and it has a username of admin, and there's a password, and I could check the eyeball once again. If, for example, I made a mistake or want to change something, I can hit the back button. But I'm good, so I'm going to press finish. And this will start the configuration process. Now it brings up a menu saying configuring unleashed, customization in process. And it says this is going to take about three and a half minutes. So what I'm going to do is pause the recording and then resume after this finishes. Okay, now we've got congratulations, your Unleashed network is ready to use. It says reconnect to Awani Studio. So I'll go back to my settings and make sure I'm connected to Awani Studio. Click on Awani Studio and I'll connect. It asks me to put in a password and then it'll be connected. So now I'll go back to my Unleashed app. And it says I can go ahead and do a speed test. I'm not going to do that, so I will press Manage Network. It'll ask me, do I want to remotely manage this network? I'm not going to do that at this time, so I'll skip it, but we can set this up later. And there we have it. We are now logged on to the dashboard. And as you can see, that we have one wireless LAN. That's the Wani Studio. We have a total of three clients. So if I press the circle on the left, That'll give me the name of the clients, and if I press on one of those clients, I can get more information. So you'll see here that this is a Mac client, and it tells me what the radio, the channel, the host name, and the vendor, which is Apple. I can press on my wireless LANs. Shows that I have one wireless LAN, and if I press on that, it gives me detailed all that information. So I could press edit. If I wanted to edit it, I could change the wireless LAN name. I could change the password. And under Show Advanced, I could actually bring up and turn on Application Recognition Control if I wanted to. I'm not going to do that at this point in time, but we can do that later. So I'll press back, go back again, and that's it. You are now logged into the Unleashed dashboard. And from now on, you can monitor and control clients, add and modify wireless LANs, configure APs, look at application recognition, and a whole lot of other functions. And as a note, if you ever want to remove the gateway settings, you'll have to do a factory reset and reconfigure.